my question is that in many of your lectures you have mentioned that uh, when someone gets uh, realization his bo it's not that the body and mind gets realization it's that the real self is liberated from the body and mind so my question is if someone if the self is liberated from one body and mind why does it not simultaneously get uh, free from all the other body and minds when okay good question let me answer that question the question is that if um, there is only one self advaita says in everybody and when a person gets liberated he gets knowledge that i am not this body and mind i am satchidanand the one consciousness existence bliss if it's one self everywhere if one person gets liberated everybody else should also get liberated do you see the logic of the question yeah now the answer is this it's actually a very simple answer it's a good question but it's a very simple answer is there it's not really the self which gets liberated the self satchidananda is ever liberated it's never in bondage brahman is ever liberated then who or what is in in bondage is the body in bondage because if the body is in bondage it continues to be in bondage it will die at one day and what is in bondage is a very peculiar entity called the jiva the individual sentient being the individual sentient being is a peculiar combination of the real self satchidananda and the mind it's the mind superimposed on the real self or the real self identified with the mind you say what is that that's exactly what you or i am right now unless you are a jivan mukta you will identify yourself with your body and mind unless you are a liberated soul Viv swami vivekananda says here is a simple test sit quietly close your mind and say i if any thought of body and mind crops up when you say i you are not liberated yet <laughs> this one which says i means body and mind this is the jiva the individual sentient being individual being this is the one which is in samsara this is the one which is trying to get liberation this is the one which is suffering trying this is the one who comes to vedanta classes <laughs> this one gets liberation it realizes that i am satchidananda and this realization to answer your question directly this realization is in that particular mind why so because the ignorance is in each mind and in each mind it has to be corrected by knowledge in that mind here is a thing to be known about knowledge and ignorance to be effective there is a rule that to be effective effective means if knowledge is to remove ignorance to be effective knowledge and ignorance must must share the same locus and object that sounds frightfully uh, philosophical but it's very simple actually same locus and object what it means is if knowledge is to remove ignorance then one that knowledge must come where the ignorance is and two it must be knowledge about what the ignorance is. you are ignorant about something if you say i am ignorant i say good for you but what are you ignorant about they'll ask you what if ignorant means i do not know ignorant means i do not know so immediately if you say i do not know the question will be what is it that you do not know that is the object of ignorance and the object of knowledge must be the same so if i am ignorant about say mathematics then the ignorance about mathematics is in my mind what what is the locus my mind and what is the object of that ignorance <coughs> mathematics so knowledge is required where will knowledge the knowledge in my math professor's mind cannot re remove the ignorance in my mind my math professor knows mathematics but that will not remove you see the knowledge in my guru's mind will not remove my ignorance it must come in my mind <coughs> because locus has to be the same locus means place second the knowledge must be about mathematics if my ignorance is about mathematics knowledge must be about mathematics if i get knowledge about english or sanskrit it will not remove my knowledge about my ignorance about mathematics similarly if my ignorance is about the self then the knowledge must also be about the self if i learn about something else suppose i learn sanskrit grammar will i become enlightened no no you will have to learn who you are really so the knowledge comes in your mind and removes the ignorance your in your mind 
And so the real self realizes itself as free, but that is reflected only in your mind, not in your neighbor's mind. That answers the question. Thank you, Vishwarup. Thank you.